Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Saturday, June 16th. 11.21 p.m. Mountain Time 2018. You're witnessing the collapse of Kilauea Caldera. Some amazing footage. Keep your eye to the right side of the rim here. And you can see a major shelf. Cubic kilometers of debris collapsing down into that debris pile at the base of this caldera, around five to 1,000 feet below the rim here. This is going to be building pressure. Now, there's a 50-50 chance that we're going to have a major phreatic eruption coming out of this huge new hole, or Fissure 8 increases in intensity and becomes a new caldera, and we have an explosion over there. So 50-50 chance on how it goes, and we're watching it. One more time, let's watch the collapse. Look at that. Right over here, if you missed it. There she goes. That is the power of Mother Nature and geologic processes. Let's get on with the update. Good news, 416 fire. Wet weather slows the blaze. Flash flood watch continues, however. We're not out of the woods. We have 18 more hours of rain predicted, but the fire is being quenched. Crews continue to bat battle the 416 fire near Durango. They re reported progress, thankfully, because of the rain on the active southeast flank. We'll have more information tomorrow. We got a nice drenching here. I got a lot of things planted today. Father's Day Scorcher, the top weather story for Father's Day, will be scorching summer heat wave that will stretch from the Midwest to the East. Combination of high temperatures and humidity could result in some epic hail, crop loss, and hurt noggins. We're talking temperatures with humidity and oppressive dew points and heat indices will approach or likely top the triple digits. Excessive heat warnings and advisories are already in effect for many major metro areas and will continue early into next week. We're going to be watching major storm activity with this oppressive heat. Cold snap expected to stick around a few more days. Heads up, Australia. Whew. I thought the bomb said it was going to be warm this winter. While the sun did eventually make an appearance in Sydney and Melbourne today, the icy winds, yes, they're expected to stick around for the Harbor City until Wednesday with severe weather warnings issued for damaging winds along the Sydney coast. It looks like it's Japan. Ski lifts open with record snow depth. Get your snow gear ready because Victoria's Alpine resorts are more than knee-deep in snow with some experiencing their best snow depths in decades. Mount Hotham has recorded the deepest snow depth in 18 years where at a season total of 75 centimeters in the last seven days, we've had 65, which is similar to the three large storms of the year. That is 90% of the snow this week. So far, Fernandina volcano erupts, lava flow reaching the ocean. This is in the Galapagos. We predicted the Galapagos would go off about six months ago, and there she blows. And that's today's first boom. Yes, it's a boom do it. A new eruption started at Ferdinina Volcano, Serra La Cumbre in Ecuador around 1500 UTC on June 16, 2018. This large shield volcano is part of the Galapagos Volcanic Archipelago, its last eruption September 2017. The eruption is taking place on the north-northeast flank of the volcano, so far characterized by the emissions of lava flows and gas column rising about 1.8 miles and drifting southwest. According to the personnel of the Galapagos National Park, the lava flow has already reached the ocean, producing lays and adding to the lays plume that is now moving around the planet. <laughs> I know, Denzel. Isn't it insane? You'll get links to all this down below. We covered this yesterday with excellent footage. Strong eruption at Sakura Jima Volcano. Pyroclastic flows, yes. Ashfall reported in Kogashima, Japan. A strong eruption took place at Sakura Jima Minamidake Crater at 2200 UTC, June 15, 2018. The eruption sent ash 4.7 kilometers. That's 15,400 feet above the crater, above sea level, and produced several pyroclastic flows. Ash fall was reported on the city of Kagoshima, capital of Kagoshima Prefecture. 
There's some pictures, some good footage here. There were eight events and five explosions at Minamadaki Crater from June 4th to the 11th. Yes, we know this baby has been rocking and is not stopping. Some good videos here. Come take a look at them. Latest updates, seismic outlook. We have some Kodiak activity, continued activity in the Kilauea region, as would be expected. No other real quakes of note of 5.2 in Las Barrance Rock. Most recent quakes, 5.0 Papua New Guinea, just kicking off. 5.1 in Lupan, Philippines. Interesting inland quake here, 5.0 in Kidam, inland China. And over here in the mid-ocean ridge of the Atlantic, 5.0 kicking off about 12 hours ago. We are in a drought for a major quake, now approaching 45 days. War Worldwide Volcano News Update. We have Dukono, Yasur, Sabankaya, Ibiko, Langila. Ibiko erupted today. Sabankaya as well, Yasur. We're waiting on Sakodajima to continue the dance. Let's look at that footage of Kilauea Caldera enlarging by a square kilometer instantly. Boom. That shelf just drops away. Eight acres of papayas falling into the hole there. No, not really. But that's the equivalent. This used to just be a small hole here. Now it's the size of a small city. And it's all down below, guys. Denzel knows what that means. Yes. We'll be waiting on it. Antarctica is melting faster than anyone thought, and we're not ready for the sea level rise that's coming. Unfortunately, this is fear-mongering, and it is about to be erased. Yes, Yellowhammer. Upcoming research will buck the consensus and show Antarctica is still gaining ice. Thank God. Is Antarctica melting or gaining? Well, talk to the fear mongers and everything is going away and you're all going to drown. But if you just come over to the data, you can see that Antarctic sea ice extent is moving up into the multi-decadal average. <laughs> Completely normal. Ice age is coming. World scientists once warned. Yes, they did. Back in the 70s. And we're warning again. Why? Because it's always been happening. Here is the down tick for the last 3,000 years. You can see the temperature has dropped 1.5 degrees C since the Minoan warm. It is going to drop another 1.5 degrees C potentially in your lifetime. Depends on how old you are. Keep watching the program. If you haven't seen some of the videos we put up, we have a geothermal greenhouse orchard update from today. Totally awesome. We already have 500 views on, or 758 there. Boom. And the Jennifer Morohassi interview is up. People love it. I love someone with a great accent that's a great scientist. And we had a great talk. If you haven't watched it, it is well worth the two hours. Put it on. Go do some garden work. Let's check out the sea ice thickness. I want you to see the line here is now emerging here over to the right, June 15th. Now above the multi-decadal average and above every other year on the chart. So I don't know what's going to happen when it comes over here as predicted, but it has now emerged on the other side of the multi-decadal average and it is approaching record highs, multi-decadal record highs. Arctic sea ice volume is at multi-decadal record highs. Yes. So, those are the facts. Share it with your friends. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. It's the truth. You are what you eat. So, start growing your own food. In our society, growing food yourself has become the most radical of acts. It's truly one of the only effective protests. One that can and will overturn the corporate powers that be. I've been screaming this for years. If you want to fight Monsanto, you stop shopping in the supermarket. By the process of directly working in harmony with nature, we can do the one thing most essential to change the world. We change ourselves. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. 
Times are changing. The grand solar minimum has been predicted. The facts are in. Solar wind pressure is diminishing as measured by Ulysses and NASA and NOAA are well aware of it. Approaching zero point in 2032. The total solar irradiance is diminishing as predicted by solar physicists worldwide and the heartbeat of the sun, Zarkova et al. We are approaching phase cancelization at the same time. Will there be a cycle 25? The magnetosphere is also waning. The time is now to start preparing to survive and thrive. As the changes occur, it is unpredictable what will happen first. Will it be a major volcanic event that blocks out the sun? Will it be a major flare off of our sun that starts frying the grid and beginning the global unrest? Will it slowly unfold through small crop losses that mount to upticks and in inflation, and your bank accounts draining out beneath you. Anyone is possible. Be safe.